So on that basis, I should conclude that you wanted to fuck those two models. There are exceptions. What makes you an exception? What makes me an exception is that I happen to be in love with you. And because we're married, and because I would never lie to you or hurt you. Do you realize that what you're saying is that the only reason you wouldn't fuck those two models is out of consideration for me? Not because you really wouldn't want to. It's just, relax, Alice. This pot is making you aggressive. No, it's not the pot, it's you. Why can't you ever give me a straight fucking answer? I was under the impression that's what I was doing. I don't even know what we're arguing about here. <sighs> I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to find out where you're coming from. Where I'm coming from. Let's say, let's say, for example, you have some gorgeous woman standing in your office, naked, and you're feeling her fucking tits. Now, what I want to know, I want to know, what are you really thinking about when you're squeezing them? Alice, I happen to be a doctor. <gasps> it's all very impersonal. And you know there's always a nurse present. So when you're feeling tits, it's nothing more than just your professionalism. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Sex is the last thing on my mind when I'm with a patient. Huh. Huh. Now, when she is having her little titty squeezed, do you think she ever has any little fantasies about what handsome Dr. Bill's dicky might be like? Sex is the last thing on this fucking hypothetical woman patient's mind. And what makes you so sure? If for no better reason, because she's afraid of what I might find. Okay, okay, so, so, so after you tell her that everything's fine, what then? What then? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Alice, um, what then? Uh, look, women don't, they basically just don't think like that. 